I love my best friend, Walter. He is my friend and nobody else is. Yes, he is. There go me and my Jolly Wally, my fadunt to dunt my best friend, honey. We've been friends, whew, almost, I don't know how many years at this point. Let's see, we've been best friends since we were 11 years old, okay? And my mama used to say, I don't know about the rest of those friends, but that Walter's all right with me, okay? <laughs> And was she right? Well, on Saturday, we celebrated Walter's birthday, y'all. Yes. Walter, 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 Walter. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Walter. 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 It's his birthday. We got him a cake, because I don't feel you could turn another age without a birthday cake. OK? And then I got Walter a big old special gift that I painted here <laughs> of him. When you lose a child, um, your whole world is upside down and you walk around like a zombie for a long time. Um, but then you have to ask, what am I going to do with this? What does God want us to do with it? And, you know, Sean was this great person, so we decided to do something, to change it. You know, I knew nothing about mental health mm -hmm. until we lost Sean. And we had so many parents come up to us and said, if Sean could do this, then any kid is vulnerable to this. Um, so what we've tried to do is take this tragedy um, and try to use it to help other people, to, to let them know you don't have to suffer in silence, that you can ask for help. Yes. We made sure that the house was non-clinical, so you don't sign any forms, you don't sign, you just walk in. And we have young people who will sit there for a couple months and just have some cookies and soda and not talk to anybody. And then we have young people who literally, it takes all their energy to cross over that threshold and ask for help. And they say, look, I'm in a mental health crisis. I'm thinking about ending my life. I need help immediately. And Sharon's house is open 24 seven. How do you fund it, everything? You do it for like free of charge? So yeah, everything we do is free of charge. Um, we do not want any economic barriers for kids to get the help they need, so. Well, our friends at Denny's heard your story and are so inspired by your openness and the work you all are doing to continue Sean's legacy. So we're giving you $10,000 towards your legacy. God bless y'all. God bless you. Brittany, God, tell, us, tell us what you love so much about the show. Jordana! Oh my God! Oh. Oh. This is real. Yeah. This is real. I am a. I love the show overall, but I am a diehard Jordala fan. Since season one, I already knew it was coming, honey. And now we about to rock down the aisle, baby. And honestly, I'm just already prepping for baby Monica. So let's <laughs> let's get to moving, okay? Wow. Wow. Anything else you got, Brittany? You want to get off your chest before they go? Can I give them a hug? Uh oh, that's up to them to say. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Ooh, come on, Greta. I let like you guys have your moment. There you have it. I love, I love you so you. much. Such an I think she's happy now. You see, you made her whole entire life. Thank you for that. There are two twins here today who are making us all extra happy. Sherry and Cherry, I want to talk to you. Come on down here right now. Yes! sister and I, we started a nonprofit, Cherish Times Two. <laughs> <laughs> it's our name. Did thing. you get it yet? It's your names together. It's yes. our names together. together. And so we started our nonprofit, but we've been last year, but we've been doing the work for about four years. So um, we grew up in the Louisiana foster mm -hmm. care system. Mm -hmm. And so we entered the system at six years old. We was never adopted. Our parents lost their rights when we was like nine, ten. And so we was up for adoption. It didn't happen. Um, it, but it's don't, okay. don't feel We're sorry for us. us. We had good parents. Good parents. Yes. <laughs> and so our and so we exited foster care at 18. But we had great foster parents. That is not the typical story of a yes. foster. Yes. That's a blessing. What do you want people to take away from your story? 
I think what I want people to take away is that no matter what happens in life, your obstacles, you, you may not have foster care, but you may have had some pain or some tribulations that you had to overcome yourself. But you are the author of your own story, and you dictate why mm. you're doing it. Yes. Oh, Y'all have blessed so many. We want to do something for you here at the Happy no, Place. No, no, yes, I do. No, you're getting don't. a six-night stay in the signature Casita Room at Fairmont Mayacoba in Mexico. Oh. You'll enjoy an appetite for luxury meal plans honey, which includes all meals, a boat tour, and a round trip airfare. You let somebody feed you this time and bless you. Okay, thank you both for being thank so you. incredible in what you do. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.